Hello, I'm Henriette Finger Ellekro. I'm CHRO here at Ørsted. One of my key focus areas is to ensure that we have the very best diverse talent. And we recently hired such a talent, our new COO, Richard Hunter. Richard will head our newly established EPC and operations organization, which is responsible for engineering, procurement, construction and operations of our global offshore wind farms and our Danish combined heat and power plants. And I'm joined here today by Richard in the UK. Welcome, Richard. Hello, Henrietta. It's great to be with you today. Richard, you're just two days into the job, so I won't ask you to give your perspectives on Ørsted, but I would be curious to understand why you think that you're such a perfect uh, fit to the rule. Okay, thank you for that. Well, firstly, um, I would like to say how happy I am to be joining, and I'm really looking forward to the onboarding and, and getting to understand the company and the, and the industry more. Um, I, of course, will be inheriting a very strong EPC and operations organisation, and I'll be relying upon them. Um, at the same time, hopefully, I can bring some of my experience to bear as we move forwards. Uh, in terms of that, my background, um, I have a strong technical foundation in engineering. Um, I've been a project manager and a project director on large integrated engineering projects. Projects that involved complex civil engineering in, in challenging environments and bringing together mechanical and electrical systems with control systems and software to integrate, deliver and commission into operation large engineering projects. Uh, I've also got a background in operations and maintenance, uh, in some cases in, in decades long contracts um, and what's needed in terms to ensure performance, to optimise, to ensure that we continue to drive costs uh, without uh, affecting safety and performance of the system. Um, I've, got a, I've run a global business um, which was supplying projects and products to more than 50 countries utilising the full value chain and a fairly international background. I've spent roughly half my career in Europe and half in Asia Pacific and I've led organisations with a very diverse global spread of people. Um, in addition to that, I think I have a, a commercial mindset as an executive leader and a focus on financials to ensure that we deliver the business performance that's required, but at the same time to de develop the relationships with customers, suppliers, stakeholders, and of course, most importantly, with the employees and the teams within our company. So I'm very much looking forward to bringing some of that experience to bear in this new role and, and getting on with the job. When, when you and I interviewed, we, we obviously discussed uh, what were the strengths of, of Ørsted and, and the future focus areas uh, of Ørsted and the EPC and operations uh, organisation. Uh, it would be interesting to know what, what made you make the decision to join Ørsted? Well, I think firstly, um, you know, the opportunity to join the leading global green energy major was a big thing. Uh, a company that's undergone a significant transformation already and has a clear ambition and mission within the sector to continue to grow and develop, not just within offshore wind where we're leading already, but into other areas. So that's a key one. Secondarily, um, together with the EPC and operations team, I can see that the, the role and the organisation has a key part to play in the business in the future in delivering the projects that we need to, to do on time and to cost and ensuring the operations continue to innovate uh, within the space so that we can continue to deliver value. And I think thirdly, it would be the culture of the company. So I researched that a little bit before, uh, before I uh, entered the process and through the process for the recruitment uh, with interactions with our CEO Mads, with yourself and with a number of the other executive team, I think I've got a clear understanding of the culture that you have and what you're seeking to promote and it's something I want to be part of. So I'm very much looking forward to join you as part of the team. We're happy to have you on the team. Uh, and to put your uh, hire into a, a greater perspective, allow me to elaborate the, a little on, on that. Because we are quite clear that if we are to realize this uh, ambitious growth strategy, we need to have world-class experienced teams and we need to be able to attract retain and develop the very best uh, talent uh, across uh, in our industry. To do that, we'll leverage uh, three things. One is uh, our uh, Danish heritage. So we will work, even though we are truly global with our Scandinavian leadership, meaning that we'll have low power distance, we'll bust the uh, bureaucracy because that is uh, key to speed and progress. 
The second thing uh, is uh, what is also quite important and attractive to our talent is our clear sense of purpose and our vision which guides everything that we do. And thirdly and finally, uh, the knowledge or the history that we've done this before. Uh, we've uh, gone through large transformations uh, through our passion, our perseverance and our discipline. So it's quite important to know that we've done this before. Uh, so we are happy that you're joining the journey also now, Richard. I'm very happy to be part of it. Thank you.